Hey everyone, my name is Evan Herrick, and today I'm going to talk to you about the journal article Effectiveness of Progressive Resistive Exercise in the Context of HIV, Systematic Review, and Meta Analysis Using the Cochrane Collaboration Protocol. Now, essentially, what these researchers were wanting to find um, was they wanted to see whether or not um, pr progressive resistive exercise could help um, with HIV. And they wanted to look at specifically whether or not it would help with viral load, CD4 count, which or CD4 count, which are basically telltale signs of whether or not someone has HIV. And they also wanted to look at just general fitness categories. So they wanted to look at cardiorespiratory fitness, they wanted to look at strength, weight, and even body comp. So what these researchers did was they looked at about 20 studies, and each of these studies um, used the Cochrane Collaboration Protocol. And when they looked at this, they wanted to be sure that they were comparing um, HIV individuals um, that use progressive resistance exercise, and they wanted to compare those against individuals who did not use um, any exercise, or maybe even used um, another sort of intervention. Um, <clears throat> so, um, basically what they did after that was um, they, with these 20 studies, they put them all together and they found that there are about 764 participants and they also found that a majority of these participants were men at about 77%. And what they found was that um, there was a significant difference um, between people who use PRE um, with those that did not. And they found that there was a significant difference in cardiorespiratory status. And they also found there was a difference between body composition and weight and even strength. Um, so the people with who use the progressive resistance exercise actually um, had better results here. <clears throat> Excuse me. And then um, they also found that there wasn't actually a significant difference um, between people and in, um, individuals who um, use progressive resistance exercise and those who did not. They found that there wasn't a difference in CD4 count or even viral load. So what the researchers concluded was that um, progressive resistance exercise is most likely safe for individuals with HIV. And, <clears throat> excuse me, and they actually um, think that it could help with strength and body comp. So there's two takeaways that I found from this article. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. One was that majority of the individuals in this in this article were men that they looked at at about 77 percent and i think it'd be really interesting if they looked at females with hiv and see if um, there's a difference between the men and the women and maybe maybe get more subjects involved rather than um what they only had like 20 percent of the subjects female so so definitely look at a different um population i believe uh, another thing that I thought was interesting was that there's no significant difference or change in CD4 count um, and viral load among these individuals. And <clears throat> I, uh, the, both, of, both of those are a telltale sign of whether someone has HIV or not. So it's hard to tell if this progressive resistance exercise is actually helping with individuals who have HIV. So I think that also um, needs to be looked into more. Um, th thank you very much, guys. Um, hope you have a great day and stay safe.